Well, we are celebrating the start of 2016 tonight, and it's worth looking back at the past year. Our web team has done such a great job putting together a list of some of the more memorable news events of 2015. Here's one story that got a lot of us talking. A Delta pilot was locked out of the cockpit during a flight from Minnesota to Las Vegas when the door jammed. The co-pilot was able to take control of the plane, and I think they've kind of worked on this glitch. Yeah, that was a big oops moment for that pilot. Well, this next story got international attention. We all remember Walter Palmer, the Minnesota dentist who shot and killed Cecil the lion on a guided hunt in Zimbabwe. That was a big story that uh, took up the headlines for many, many days. He was not charged and he is back working in Bloomington, so that is good. This is a story that will continue through the new year. It was the end of October when Danny Heinrich was named a person of interest in the Jacob Wetterling abduction case. You may remember he was arrested on numerous counts of child pornography. That is a headline that many people had been waiting decades for, just any sort of break in that case. And remember this, in July, a grizzly at the Minnesota Zoo shattered the glass of its enclosure with a rock. I don't remember that actually. You don't? No. Oh, I re cuz it was the the, the bear bears was coming were taking after over. us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beware. <laughs> Well, you can read more about that story and many more that made headlines in 2015. Just go to our website. You can go to WCCO.com and click on the blue tab at the top that says 2015 in review. So uh, the DNR does their list of the top five biggest weather stories of yeah. the year as well. They have meteorologists from around the state vote on that. Was there anything particularly memorable weather-wise no. from the pet? Nothing. That, that, I think, is the headline, right? We've had well, no weather this year. It's been so easy. So number two was the glorious summer oh, of 2015. Well, that sounds great. Wasn't too hot, wasn't too mm -hmm. cool, just a very, and then the number one was the second warmest autumn statewide. <laughs> so just really, I mean, that's exactly it, Kip. The fact that it has been so nice has been that's the big story. Itself. My big thing, my big story uh, was a couple of weeks ago when we had that weird hour between 9 and 10 where we had thunderstorms, mm -hmm. sleet, snow and sunshine and then back to snow all within an hour. Okay. Didn't well, make the list. When was this? Was I sleeping? It was December that? 16th, I think. <laughs> it was a weird day mm -hmm. that day. Well,